Good morning, Hope City Church. Welcome to day eight of our prayer and faith journey. My name is Tina Bigelow. I uh, work with the kids ministry here at the church. Today's devotion is on unity and um, unity is so essential in the church. As believers, we are called to reach unity in the faith, uh, to help each other and support each other and to grow in maturity. You know, I'm thankful for the people that I've had in my life that have helped me grow and mature um, and not to stay complacent uh, and in love in a loving way. Um, I'm reminded of t Romans 12, 18, where Paul says to do all that you can to live at peace with one another and other translations say, if at all possible, live at peace with, the, with one another, which tells me that it's gonna be kind of difficult sometimes, um, but you know, I mean, we're all human. We have disagreements and we have conflicts. And uh, I think when we read scripture and the example that God gives us and how to love people, you know, we're only able to do it through his spirit. And, you know, when we're told to love God, you know, as the greatest commandment, what is the greatest commandment? It's to love God with all your being and then love people, love your neighbor as yourself. I mean, this is, the law. This fulfills the law. So I pray that this encourages you as you read this devotion, that you would pray for uh, just a refreshing love and that the Holy Spirit would just bring this renewed um, sense of, of unity and peace to you so that whenever you encounter people at church or outside of church, whether you're at, you know, running errands out there, that just remember Love like God loves, um, not like humans, because we can't love perfectly, but God can. And through his spirit, we can show that love to people. And that's where um, that unity happens. And people want to be a part of that. Nobody wants to be a part of a church that is so divided and, you know, there's lots of confusion and chaos. Um, let's be the church that God calls us to be. Not only a unified body, but a humble, unified body. Um, I hope this encourages you again, and I pray that you have a great day today. We'll see you tomorrow for day nine. Bye-bye.